Hi guys, it is me again. We already established that it is not advisable to fly in an urban area due to a lot of interferences. Based on my experience, the best time to fly in this in an urban area is early in the morning. Maybe for some reasons, some of the people turn off their routers when they go to sleep at night. This time, we are going to try the DJI Mavic Mini without the propeller guard on it. Here are some of the things you might want to look into before flying. You might want to check on the RTH or return to home altitude. This will be the default altitude of the aircraft when returning home. So you might want to look into your surroundings for possible obstacles of the aircraft when returning home. Estimate the height, then set the preferred RTH altitude. The aircraft will return home when you initiate it from the remote control or on your screen. When you lost connection from the aircraft after some time or when the battery is low. Once the battery goes to below 24%, it will initiate landing, but you can still control the aircraft to prevent from crashing into something. There are three different flight modes on the Mavic Mini, which is the Cine Smooth mode, Position mode, and Sport mode. The C mode or Cinematic mode is ideal for cinematic footage. The movement is slowed down. The maximum speed is 3.9 meters per second while the upward and downward speed is 1.5 meters per second. The second flight mode is the P or position mode. This is the default mode. This is a little bit faster than the C mode. The maximum speed is 7.9 meters per second, while the maximum upward and downward speed is 2 meters per second. The last one is the sport mode or S mode. This is the fastest mode compared to the two. When using this mode, make sure it is far from obstacles because of its speed. The maximum speed is up to 12.4 meters per second. That's roughly around 45 kilometers per hour. While the maximum upward and downward speed is 4 meters per second. This is all based on the test I made here in the urban area. I am not sure if it's the same speed in rural areas.
Also, I'm going to show you the quick shots. There are four modes that you can try, and this is just a tap away. You need to highlight the target and set the preferred distance. You can access this on top of the play button on the right side. We are going to try first the drony mode, next is the rocket, followed by circle, and finally the helix mode. After the shoot, the app will automatically generate a 15 second video from the original copy of the video like what you have seen at the start. And here are some of the shots. Thank you.